especially in this time of like quarantine and everyone's separated it's really really easy to just completely feel like oh i'm just online classes every day and then i'm done and to just completely forget that you got a homestead that you're a mustang and that there's a bigger community and friends and all that she got that rich girl l a I'm hoping that students at Homestead will be using their creativity skills as well as different technology they may have at home. In a physical rally, there are certain things you can't really do, especially like with technology and stuff like that. So online rallies would be a great opportunity for students to um, show off their technology skills. It's like, what I really want to see is potentially a bunch of students actually showing up. That'd be really awesome. Being able to reconnect with that sense of like, oh, a ton of like a big student body, that sense of like homestead community and all that. I also want to maybe see some like fun games, some activities. You can get creative with Zoom or however you're choosing to do it online. I hope that the online rallies would be more interactive since it's virtual and we can't really actually be there. Yes, I do think rallies are important. Uh, especially with the situation right now, you know, again, school is online, there's might be, there's a lot of homework, there's a lot of tests, and a lot of stress going around. And people need, you know, even half an hour just to kind of chill out and relax a bit. And rallies are a great, fun way to do that. You know, they create this really happy atmosphere and attitude that everybody needs right now. And it's definitely good for your mental health. Like, they help show school spirit and they're also like fun, so it's like a nice break from academic things. I think rallies really are important because they are a way for students to kind of pull back from the normal day-to-day -day, like homework and competitiveness and to just have a bit of fun with everyone, to kind of see everyone in like a bigger context, um, to do some more fun activities, to feel a sense of um, bonding with everyone that oh everyone's gathered together we're all doing kind of the same thing just cheering and having fun especially connecting with your class yes I believe that seeing everyone showing off what they've learned from their clubs and extra activities I think it's just absolutely amazing yeah definitely I want to see how good the rallies can be online and you know it's just new stuff and I like new stuff Yes, because one, it's not as crowded and you're not cramped in a small space. Well, the gym is the big space, but since there's so many people, it's very, very crowded most of the time. And for some people like myself, we, I mean, we don't like the crowd. So um, the online rally is a good opportunity for students like us to just like have somewhat of a same experience, but in the comfort of our home. <laughs> I think school spirit is important, especially in this time of like quarantine and everyone's separated. It's really, really easy to just completely feel like, oh, I'm just online classes every day and then I'm done. And to just completely forget that you got a homestead, that you're a Mustang and that there's a bigger community and friends and all that. And so school spirit, I think, is especially important now to connect students together. And like normally, you, you go to school every day, so you already see everyone, you're already on campus, you get that feel, but right now you don't, you're at home. And so, school spirit now is important because this is that's like the only way you really are, other than like logging into Zoom, that's like the only way you really are connected to other people on campus. Yes, because it's like everyone is all in one room or all together just showing how united they are and like how every class will wear orange, pink, green, purple, and it shows power in a sense. I believe that school spirit is important since it allows students to feel more um, happy that they're being at the school rather than, oh, I'm going to Homestead and it's such a sad atmosphere. Like you wouldn't feel proud that you're going to that school and therefore it might affect your learning. I'm not sure. But it might not affect your learning, but it could still make your mood 
about the school like not as great. So it was, it's better to have school spirit than to not have school spirit in my opinion. So a lot of planning has gone into this rally. From thinking about how interactive we want to make it, thinking about what kind of rally do we want to do, and just how long it has to be. We started planning over, even before the school year started, and we have been planning ever since. It's been intense. Every single class time, we work on, on, on the rally, how we want to include it, and, and we've been working on this for, for many, many hours, many days, many weeks, even months, uh, to try to make the best rally that we can and, and, and start the year off with, with a different type of rally. Students are attending through their advisory class. They join their advisory class on the morning of Wednesday, September 16th at 9 a.m. Uh, and basically, the advisory teachers will be sending a link to the YouTube live in chat. Uh, the students will join this YouTube live and basically they will stream um, um, the rally from there. Now, uh, we're excited to, do, to use this type of method because it's, um, it's highly efficient and, and it, it makes it very easy for students to join the rally and encourages them in a very easy way. Um, this is because, first of all, the rally is part of advisory, so students don't have to get out of the way to connect to the link. They just go to advisory, which is mandatory, and then join the link from there. Um, and the second reason that it's so easy is because, you know, uh, it's very easy to use YouTube. We're not using some technology that's foreign to these students, and uh, and it's 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 going to be a very easy rally to just listen to and, and and interesting and not too long as well. Through rallies, we hope to accomplish a more spirited homestead during this Corona year. Uh, we want to just have and harness the best homestead spirit that we can, uh, but we also want to create a sense of community in our homestead students. Create a sense of you know, we are with you, even though we cannot be with you. You know, tangibly, we can be with you in the most emotional and the most supportive way that we can. Many traditions, many traditions will be kept in these rallies. We still want to have, you know, performances um, of, 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 you know, different clubs like Indopac Crew, the Marching Band, Equestriettes, Color Guard, I don't know, Cheer. Um, and we still want to have games. But the things that's changing is, you know, we won't have cheer offs and and the intimacy level, we agree that it will be a little bit different, but we want to make this a platform for people to show off their individual acts as well as just create a sense that we are together in one place. Because ever since the start of the year, we haven't been all together in one place and now we will. As a senior, this rally holds great emotional significance for me specifically because this is my last first rally of my high school experience. Um, I've been a homestead students for the last three years. This is my fourth year. And I just want to make this a rally that people, that I can be proud of, that the seniors can be proud of, that this is our school. We did this together. Um, and I just want to kick off my senior year in a positive mindset and in a mindset that brings everyone together as one. So how are you feeling about how the rally went? Overall, I feel like the rally went really well. I'm really happy with how it went. Um, with anything virtual, there's so much room for technical difficulties, which we did face earlier on in our run throughs, but thankfully the streaming of the actual rally went rather smoothly. And yes, we had a few hiccups here and there, but um, I think that's pretty expected and it kind of shows the authenticity of the live stream aspect it would have been a lot easier to resolve those hiccups if we had done everything pre-recorded, but we were hoping that by doing it live, it would be more engaging and we kind of took that risk with the um, uncertainty of it, whether it would be smooth or not. And so I personally, I thought it was super fun seeing everyone's faces and seeing some of my friends in the performances and also being reminded of how talented our community is at Homestead. And what would I change for next time? So we have lots of new ideas for the next rally. And I think the biggest change would be to find a better way to get audience interaction. Um, this was the first ever virtual rally and we had lots of helpful feedback and proposals for our next one. 
Um, something that came up a lot was that people miss the cheer-offs and the sing-offs. So we're going to work on finding alternatives um, to get something along those lines, like a cheer-off. We're working on it. And so um, third question, are you satisfied with the work you put in? So I'm very satisfied with um, the work that I put in and everyone else in the rally committee put in. I want to give a shout out to all the other committee members because they worked really, really hard to bring everything together. I'm super grateful to everyone who played a part in making it happen, especially the performers too, because without their hard work, we wouldn't have the rally that we did. And the fourth question is, what is something you want students to know about the work behind the rally? Something I want the students to know about the work behind the rally is that upon first thought, some ideas seem pretty simple to execute, but if you really like look into it, there's a lot of small details that are really challenging and complicated to execute. So for example, we had a lot of students who wanted us to turn the live chat on, but we realized, kind of realized this wasn't the greatest idea um, because we can't monitor the chat with, especially with a lot of the student body and the school on it. And so, but we're still actively trying to find ways to bring back some of this audience engagement that students really miss from the previous rallies. And so we're working on it and hopefully the next rally will be even better. So after watching it, I, I thought it was really good. I honestly think that the leadership team did a really good job putting it together and making sure all the transitions were like really good like i don't know it was it was really good I like my name is maritza and i watched a rally my favorite part was when the sophomores won okay so um so the virtual rally so yes i did watch it i think it was mandatory um my favorite party had to be the first crew video where they were all wearing the black outfits because it was really well edited and like the, it was really well put together. The editing was cool. The camera angles were cool. The outfits were cool. And the dancing I think was a lot like better coordinated than any of the other groups. So, um, but also cheer was also amazing because I'm on cheer. After watching the rally, my favorite part would have to be the band performance um, because I thought it was pretty cool how they were able to include everyone play their instruments on live. After watching the rally, it was really difficult to decide which performance was my favorite, but I think I would have to go with marching band and color guard just because I think it was so cool how they were able to get all those people together and perform live. Yes, I watched the rally. Uh, what was my favorite part? I think the senior memories like the slides they were really great because there was a lot of photos of our group so that was good um i didn't realize that other people wouldn't submit as many photos as we did so that was interesting um my initial reaction overall of the rally was i wasn't really sure how many things they would be able to do considering the situation but in the end i was really impressed on how much they actually covered and how much entertainment they put into it. And before I watched the rally, I thought that they weren't going to be able to include many clips of all the performances. Um, my initial reaction was, um, this is kind of boring, like this is, sorry. Um, my initial reaction is that this is kind of boring, this is a waste of time, like I have other work to do, but I did, I did like see it and I thought, that I liked the background, like the background art. My initial reaction would be like regular, like bland. And honestly, I felt normal after watching it. Um, my initial reaction, I think it was, okay, well, it started off with memories and it started off with the jokes that they always do so that was pretty great i think it was kind of like a little bit of a throwback so. after watching the rally i was wrong um i was actually pretty impressed on how many performances there were and how they were able to include everyone on the live and i don't really think they missed anything um i thought it was pretty cool and it was really exciting to watch
um how did i feel after watching it i thought oh an hour out of my day is gone that i could have been doing schoolwork but i mean i appreciate that they tried um and i also thought that the um like to dislike ratio is quite funny um do i think they missed anything yeah i think they could have put use they could have done a lot more audience participation because i think that probably would have gotten people a little bit more engaged in it because i know me and a lot of like people that i was talking to kind of just like on our phones the whole time because it's just not the most like engaging thing but i think if they added some like audience participation maybe some like class stuff i think that could have could have really improved the rally experience um after watching it i was really proud of our group and i was also really proud of all the clubs that or i guess like the dancing and how they got everyone to do videos for the um marching band that was really cool and i think just the amount of work everyone put in to doing their videos for their clubs or for their extra um extracurricular activities i think that was really great um and do you do i think they missed anything not really i think we got in the oreo game and we got in just so many chat like so many of the things that we do usually in the rallies that i didn't even know that we could do which was pretty amazing i know that we didn't get to do the shout off but like how would we even do that so i think that was really great and i don't think they missed anything good job leadership it was really good and i really appreciated watching the rally